and welcome back to Four Quarters of the Galley. I'm your host, P. Vo, and with me as always is Miss A.G. And if you're joining us today, then you're joining us on Episode 3 of Weekly Time Capsule. It's our weekly recap show where we go through everything around the world and in the internet through movies, sports, music, television, and just craziness, and break it all down for you and give you our opinion on the top stories of the week. Mm-hmm. All right, without further ado, let's kick it off. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with a little movie news. In this week's movie news, you got Mr. Tom Hanks has signed on to play Mr. Rogers in a little movie called You Are My Friend. Hmm. Not bad if I don't say so myself. Also in a little video available on TMZ, you got Mr. Rogers' youngest son who came out and said he was a huge fan of Tom Hanks and the family's ecstatic that he's playing Mr. Rogers. For me, Tom Hanks is the best actor in the world, so I expect nobody better to play Mr. Rogers because who else can say... Hello, can you be my friend? <laughs> I don't know who Mr. Rogers is. Okay, so. yeah, you're a little young, but you do know who old Tom Hanks yes, is. Of course I know this man made you feel good for a Wilson the volleyball, so you know he's gonna murder this role. Can't you just wait till he starts tying his shoes? <laughs> All right, and moving on to a little movie trailer news, we got the brand new Marvels Ant Man and Wash trailer mm. dropped this week. So what'd you think of the trailer? That was really good, actually. Yeah, I thought it was a great trailer. I really loved how, basically, they showed off right where the end of Civil War starts, yeah. and they showed Ant-Man and what happens to him, and he's still in trouble. And then it shows him interacting with Wasp and how she's got the brand new outfit out, and now she's kicking butt, and mm-hmm. they're going to team up, and uh, has great humor from the first movie. And I think the end of the trailer is probably the best use of a Pez dispenser that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Little Hello Kitty. So that goes without saying, is Marvel unstoppable? It is. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think they are because they got three big movies coming out and Black Panther comes out in a couple weeks. And then you got <laughs> The Big Boy and The Infinity War and you know everybody and their mama's going to go see Very that one. Excited yeah, that. and then it looks like we're going to get a little romantic comedy on the run espionage kind of Ant-Man and Wasp. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I know. It's exciting. <laughs> coming out in July, folks. All right. And still in the world of Marvel, the Black Panther premiere happened, and the hype went crazy. (sighs) The internet went wild. They're not supposed to tell their review yet, but they allow you to go on social media and tell you if you like the movie, and basically, everyone loved it. Mm. So I cannot wait, folks. We got two more weeks. Black Panther's coming. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. Tickets are bought. T'Challa's in the house. Let's go, folks. Come on. All right, she's got nothing to add to the Black Panther. No, not really. All right, I know I'm excited. It's okay. (laughs) All right, and moving on to music news. We just had the 90th Grammy Awards. Mm -hmm. And with that, we got Bruno Mars taking home the two big ones. He won record and album of the year. Yeah, that's shocking. Yeah, I mean, I love Bruno Mars, and I think he's a fabulous entertainer, but I thought for sure that album of the year was going to go to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. And, I mean, Despacito should have won record of the year because that was an amazing song downloaded all over the world. So, mm-hmm. But, you know what? Congrats to Mr. Bruno. Took home five awards. He really cleaned up. Kendrick Lamar took home seven awards. He won yeah. best rap album, best rap song. I mean, he was cleaning up all of them. Kendrick's Damn was an amazing album. Mm-hmm. And in kind of sad news, Jay-Z went 0 for 8. Yeah. Oof. Just kind of like Miss Beyonce, his wife last year went like 0 for 7 with Lemonade. Yeah. That stinks. But they're still amazing. They're still putting out great stuff. So the Grammys are interesting. Definitely had some uh, controversy back and forth. But I'm very proud of Kendrick and Bruno for taking home those awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very proud. I think so. Very cool. Yeah. All right. And moving on to sports news. We got the big Super Bowl going on this week. And the Super Bowl is always taking over the news. But somehow the NBA has figured out a way to not let the NFL be number one. You know why? A whole bunch of trading went on. And right here in the greater state of L.A., with the Clippers, kind of like the little stepbrother of the Lakers, they traded away their best player ever in Blake Griffin. He's going to D-Town and the Detroit Pistons. Oh. Yeah? Cool. He <laughs> really don't care. <laughs> also this week, LeBron floated the idea out there that he would be welcoming an um, invitation to the Warriors. Yeah. No thanks, LeBron. No one wants to watch you, Steph, and KD run the league and lose four games. That's pretty boring. How about you go somewhere else and let's make it a little more competitive? Okay, you don't care. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. 
That's our uh, weekly time capsule, episode three. We'd like to thank you for joining this week. Uh, but don't go anywhere, because we're about to hit you with a little uh, Galley Game Time Super Bowl edition. So, we'll see you on the other side. Until next time, folks. Good night, Ted. See you later. Hello everybody, welcome to Galley Game Time. I'm your host, RG, and this is going to have a special edition of Galley Game Time. We will be having a Super Bowl Shuffle. In this game, I will be asking one of our contestants a series of Super Bowl questions. At the same time, she will have to be catching and playing with a real super football. <laughs> you know, from America. Let us begin the game. <laughs> Welcome to Galley Game Time. Today we're going to be playing the Super Bowl Shuffle with our contestant. AG. <laughs> with some enthusiasm. Mm. Are you ready? Let us begin. First question. Who is playing in this year's Super Bowl? Uh, the Patriots and the Eagles. Correct. Next question. Where was the first Super Bowl played at? Who knows? Oh, wait. Here are your choices. Miami, L.A., New Orleans, Houston. New Orleans. No? Okay. You get one more try. Uh, Houston. No? Wrong. Okay. The answer is L.A. Okay. Who won the first Super Bowl? The Chiefs, the Raiders, the Packers, or Jets? The Packers. Correct. <laughs> Which team has won the most Super Bowls? The Patriots, the Cowboys, the 49ers, or the Steelers? The Patriots? No, the... Nope, they suck. Uh, was the Chiefs? No, not part of that question. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the choices were. Oh, she dropped the ball. <laughs> the Patriots, the Cowboys, the 49ers. The oh, the 49ers. Steelers. You have one no. more try. <laughs> Correct, and there you have it. There's the Super Bowl shuffle. Thank you for watching. <laughs>